A unionist motion to limit the use of the Irish language in the Assembly has been defeated. As our political editor Ken Reid now reports, the debate was low-key. The Irish language is a contentious political issue. Protesters on the steps of Stormont demanding equal rights for Irish speakers. Unionists say the use of Irish by ministers is wasting time. The issue reaching the floor of the Assembly. They said to us, an Irish language act would have no adverse impacts on those who do not speak Irish. Well, in this place, even without an act, unionists are experiencing the constant effects of adverse impacts. And today we are plainly saying to you, we're having no more of it. The difficulty for many of us is that what should be cultural wealth has been turned by Sinn Féin and others, because they're not alone in this, has been turned by Sinn Féin and others into a cultural weapon. Nationalists were clearly unhappy with the Unionists' motion. I believe this motion is divisive, offensive and sinister. The issue of language rights, a non-controversial issue in Wales, Scotland, South of Ireland and throughout Europe, an expression of human rights has now become a political football in the battle for supremacy between the Unionist parties. What we should be looking at, Mr Speaker, are the ways in which Irish speakers are disadvantaged by the rules of this House. As I said, Irish speakers, according to convention here, must translate everything they say into English, and in doing so, they lose their part of their speaking time. But interestingly, the debate was not without humour. As the Mayor of North Down, that well-known hotbed of Repub Republicanism. Predictably, the Unionist motion was defeated, but it was a relatively low-key debate. Next week, however, the Culture Minister Edwin Poots is likely to make a statement on the future of the Irish Language Act. Expect a considerable political row. Ken Reid, UTV Live, Stormont.